four, three, two, one. C and H, C and H. Mommy uses it to bake her cakes. She makes the greatest cookies, snacks, and candy in the bright pink package. Island kids all love that cane. It grows so clean and sweet. They eat it when it's freshly cut. And more, that's quite a treat. Neat. <laughs> All right, y'all, welcome back to the No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim John the Rock Zoo. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm confused. But I thought you were Hawaiian. I am. I knew what you were singing, but I never knew the words. Wow, you guys were so, that was very nice. That was quite lovely to hear. That was, uh, I was on a commercial that played all the time. Yeah. And me and Rick, I guess before we even met each other, yeah. we just loved shit like that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of commercials, y'all want to hear something that's gonna trip you out a little bit? A little bit. I was watching TV with Chia, and then uh, something happened where we were gonna get a pizza. We we're gonna order a pizza, and she was like, "Yeah, let's uh, let's you know we'll we'll order a pizza. It's um it's not delivery." And I was like, "I was about to say it's DiGiorno," and she said, "It's Delicio," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> Who? <laughs> I was like. I was like, you mean DiGiorno? She was like, no, it's not delivery. It's Delicio. And I was like, baby, that's not that's not it. Peep game, oh, bruh. Canada. In Canada, it's Delicio. Oh. Well, you know, Spanish is the first language of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's weird. I know. Like, Why not just be DiGiorno everywhere you go? Right. <laughs> what purpose does that serve? I don't know. But- Come to think of it now, you got those fucking fast food restaurants. Hardee's. Hardee's and Carl's Jr. Like, also makes no sense. I don't get it. I don't know. <laughs> it must be tax purposes or some shit like that. Oh. Uh, man, I don't know. Well, I just thought I'd blow your mind yeah. for a second. Because yeah. that shit's true me out. But yeah, me and Rick, uh, you know, <laughs> for some reason... I wasn't sure that Rick would know that song, but I knew Rick would know that song. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we've ever actually sung it together. No, Probably. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I just know he knows yeah. this song. It's just like, you know what? I, I find myself singing to Lil, Lil Veda all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're going to know this one. <clears throat> it's, um, 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 the world looks mighty good to me because Tootsie Rolls are all I see. Whatever it is, I think I see. Becomes a Tootsie Roll to me. Tootsie Roll powers like a chocolatey chew. Tootsie Roll, I think I'm in love with you. Whatever it is, I think I see. Becomes a Tootsie Roll to me. Yeah, the classics. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, like, you guys are really happy. <laughs> Cause it's amazing. <laughs> you don't know the Tootsie Roll song. <laughs> That's why you guys are best friends. But hold it's, on, hold but on, it's, hold on. No, I, I say one, a, a two, two, okay, a three. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but watching you guys sing that, like that is the <laughs> sweetest, oh happiest, <laughs> nicest thing. That is like glitter and sunshine. Watching y'all sing that, that was pretty. <sighs> Look, I'm I'm not saying there's videos of me and Rick singing old timey songs on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a couple videos. Uh, you you might be able to catch us singing the Jefferson's theme song, <laughs> and also uh, <laughs> I think we might have did the friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that shirt you fucking stole from me. No. After you gave it to me, <laughs> Rick. There's this X Men shirt that Rick swears I stole from him, and also yeah, X Men shirt and a green hoodie, bro. <laughs> this nigga stole it. <laughs> 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 I don't know what happened to this olive green hoodie <laughs> that Rick left at my house somewhere, but it disappeared. Bruh, <laughs> it was my favorite hoodie, too. I guess it's my fault for leaving it there, but he did some shit with that shit <laughs> and that X-Men shirt. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened to either shirt, but the, the, the hoodie is truly a mystery. I know like, what happened to it. What? That shit's in Thailand. <laughs> Mom oh. probably snatched it up. <laughs> You probably right. You probably right cuz my mom did have a habit when I was younger of giving away shit of mine to other people without consulting with me first. Um toys, shirts. Have I told y'all about Laguna Tuna? You did. On the show? <laughs> yeah, last time. Okay, last month, goddamn yeah. it. I was, I was upset about that, man. <laughs> but yeah, uh yeah. that's probably right. But she made up for that. She got you the show much go on. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
So then they got me. They got me a T-shirt from Thailand. And it says, "Oh my God, I'm crying." I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> no, it's okay. I think everybody's wanting to hear this story now. It's not even a funny story. It's just like you know when you buy shit from other countries and like the spelling and the wording is off, especially Asian countries. This fucking shirt it has a microphone. No, it had a whole rapper. Oh god. Okay, there's, there's a rapper. There's like, yeah, like a cartoon <laughs> rapping dude with a microphone. <laughs> it says the show much go on. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Oh my god! You should wear it. Oh man, I, you need I, to wear I it. Gotta find it. I feel bad. I don't know if I I know where it is. Oh, so oh shit! So stupid. <laughs> There's so much going on. Ah, all right. Let's get into some <laughs> Patreon questions. <laughs> oh, Tim is legit crying. I know. I was like, <laughs> I don't know. Why. It's so so stupid. Oh my god. Anyways. You know, God, God bless parents, man. <laughs> God bless a- Asian parents, too. <laughs> we were just eating and talking about our parents, and my dad now texts like a 16-year-old girl. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I wish you guys could see it. <laughs> okay. He said, I miss you. I love you. How are you? But he put like rainbow star, heart with the pink star with the little shine butterfly. <laughs> I was like, are you okay, dad? He's like, I'm just tired and I missed you. I was like, oh my God, Aww. dad. I was like, okay, you, you want to go eat next week? He's like, you made me feel inside. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> and then he sent the, like, not the crying face, but the single tear emoji. I was like, oh my God, my dad is so sad. Sad. Adorable. It was because <laughs> when I said it, I don't think anybody was expecting for it to legit be no. beginning butterfly. I miss you. Ending butterfly. Yeah. Like <sighs> he's so sweet. He he, he he looked for those emojis. Yes, yeah. he did. <laughs> my uh, I was telling him that my dad will randomly send a bunch of things. Um, <laughs> for one, send a picture of Geo working out <laughs> in, in, into the family group chat. With no context, okay. no text. Just in case you guys missed it, <laughs> she's working out. The Geo update. And then I replied with, "Dad, we don't care about Geo working out." And uh, and then he said, "How's Veda?" <laughs> no type of clarification. Just <sighs> left it at that. And uh, also, like you know, my dad watches my vlogs all the time, so he's always learning different terminology from me. Like my dad used to watch. I've, I've said this before, but. He used to watch, and he reads all the comments too, especially when he's in it. Mm. So he would he he would read the comments and be like, "Why is everybody saying I'm shit? I'm shit." I'm like, "No, dad, you're the shit. That's a good thing." He's like, "Oh, okay." And so I sent him a picture of um, Veda getting her little nails clipped by Chia, and he was like, "She's G, sleeping while getting a manicure. She's G." And it's like, G. it's that one. What's that one? She's a G. She's the shit. <laughs> so funny. But you'll get there. But she's G works. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's G. Oh yeah, that's like that, that's G. That's gangster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Gangster AF. Oh man. All right. Parents. Gotta love them. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got some questions. Um <laughs> Uh, you know what? Actually, these questions were all for the guests that we had earlier. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> y'all care about us, Patreon? Yeah. I, and because uh, I posted, all right, y'all got questions for the guests, and I forgot to read them. But <laughs> hilarious. But Michelle Lay says, if you could, can you tell Nikki Blaze that I love her and I got some of her merch? Smiley Aww. face. Aww. Thank you. And then it also says, um, let's see a second here. Let me go through this shit right here. Got some questions for Gina later when she shows up. Motherfucking Gina was supposed to be on this episode. Motherfucking Gina. And I I texted her. Yeah, actually, yes. I texted Gina and I was like, all right, because we were downstairs just having a little salad right now. And I texted her. I was like, yo, man, um, no rush. Um, we're just at tender grains. You want to pull up a little late? She's like, oh, my God, I totally forgot. Good thing you texted me. Let me get ready right now. I was like, hey, man, that's fine. Chill out. Because uh, we got two episodes to do. We haven't done the one solo episode that I at least get, like to get done. So it works out perfectly. Ooh, and Rick got two cookies. Man. Okay. I didn't order two cookies. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sheesh, nigga. I was so excited about the cookie. I didn't explain what And happened. if Toya's watching, I didn't order any cookies. Oh, sorry. But <laughs> I got a cookie. It was delicious. Everybody was like 
hating on my cookie, not mm-hmm. hating like, hey, you got a cookie, like, damn, I wish I had a cookie. Yeah. And I was like, you can't have none of my cookie. Mm-hmm. And then Tim was like, I think I'm going to get one. So she came and brought our food and she brought out Tim's cookie. So I thought. And then somebody was like, you ordered two cookies? And I was like, nah, Tim didn't order that. And he was like, nah, we got extra cookie. Man. Everybody got to have some cookie. It was so mm-hmm. dope because I was literally like, I'm probably going to buy another cookie. It looked amazing. And then it just, and, and here's what's even doper for me. Is I didn't see the lady drop it off. No. So for me, I'm on my phone, and then I looked up, and everyone's like, we got an extra cookie. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, you <laughs> know, God. <laughs> it's not a miracle. It's delicious. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. It's <laughs> so stupid. Fucking Canada. Oh, man. It's, it, it is, uh, you know, it's interesting. You know, Canada's, Canada's lit, though. Like, I, I love Canada. Um, it's interesting the just the little differences out there, like Deckel. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> um, Nikki Blades. Let me ask you something. Those things that, uh, like a, a little sticker that you would put on like your your oh. car or something like that. Wh- what do you call that? Bumper sticker. Yeah. Okay. But the, like on the window, like on the glass a decal. Yes. Mm-hmm. So my wife was looking for things to put on the walls of our baby room, and she kept saying, "I'm gonna get uh, some some decals. I'm gonna order some decals." And I thought she was being funny. Thought she was making jokes. Like so, trying to say decal? Like trying to say decal. Like just saying decal as a funny way to say it. Because, you know, sometimes people do that. But I was like, babe, why you keep saying decal? She's like, what? Decal? I was like, decal. It's decal. She's like, no, it's de- decal. And then so she <laughs> she called up like two of her friends from back in Regina, Saskatchewan, <laughs> and was like, how do you say, how do you say this? Texted it to him. And her boy Eddie was like, Deckel? <laughs> Dude, that's weird, man. <laughs> and, but then I hit up Trey from For Y'all, who's from Toronto. He was like, it was decal. What do you mean? It's decal. Yeah. So it wasn't a Canadian thing. I guess it was a her region specific yeah. thing. Yeah, so what do they call California? Um, California. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> California. <laughs> <laughs> but then I hit Budrum, who's also Canadian, right? Mm. And she, I was like, well, how do you say this? And she was like, decal? <laughs> yeah, but she's Toronto too. Yeah, yeah, but like, no, no, she but didn't she say decal. Decal. She didn't <laughs> like, say decal. She said decal. decal. Like, she, well, she's a really big Method Man fan. Yeah, Drew. <laughs> I'm like, Budrum, yeah, yeah, you you're not help you didn't help anything with this. What's your weird ass pronunciation? Decal. <laughs> Uh, <sighs> y'all know it's super difficult to eat healthy when you're balancing so many life things and your job and school and all that. That's why I F with Thrive Market, okay? Thrive Market is an online membership-based market on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. You can easily shop by 70-plus diets and values like keto, paleo, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, all that. Skip the store and the lines you know what? And they got everything you need. Ethical meat, sustainable seafood, clean wine, and more. And their products are ethically sourced, okay? They got a special deal for y'all. Join Thrive Market today to get 25% off your first order and an exclusive gift. The only way to get this offer is by going to thrivemarket.com slash no chaser. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash no chaser to get the exclusive offer of 25% off your first order and a free gift. And you can't get this offer anywhere else. Go to thrivemarket.com slash no chaser. All right, guys, let's do a meditation, okay? Imagine your credit score. Now imagine your credit score with 30 or even up to 61 points added to it. Now 10 or 15 points like others promise. That's weak. Scoremaster users can add up to 61 points in 20 days or less. What? Life changing, am I right? Adding all those points to your credit score can mean faster approvals, better deals, and lower interest rates on everything from buying or refinancing a new home to leasing a new car or applying for a credit card. Scoremaster was created by credit data scientists to put you in charge of your finances. One member raised their score at 33 points within days, another 43 points. Scoremaster is simple and easy to use. It takes about a minute to get started, and if you do it now, you get to try Scoremaster for free and see how many points you can add. Go to scoremaster.com com slash no chaser that's scoremaster.com slash no chaser again that's scoremaster.com slash no chaser try it out so we only had one question 
Yes. We didn't have any. <laughs> oh, we didn't have Thank any. Thank you for watching the No Chase Podcast. <laughs> I'm Timothy Gentleman. <laughs> Here's the thing. Gina ruined everything. <laughs> I'm normally a little more prepared for uh, our solo episodes because I always got some questions we could yeah. fall back on. That's hilarious. Um, I'll tell you what. Let me just go to an older post where I say, hey, guys, do you have questions for us where, where we didn't answer them because we definitely have a lot of that. Um, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, though. While we're looking for questions, mm-hmm. I miss Canada. I miss fucking traveling to Canada. I miss going there. I miss Toronto. Um, I miss Vancouver. Um, and like I miss, and, and I'll tell you one funny story. One time, because you know, I've, I've, I've had my, my problems crossing the border sometimes. And uh, here's a story I haven't told where I was going to Vancouver and um, I was there for a club event. All right. And I was crossing the border and they asked me, why are you here? And I was like, shit. Uh, I was like, I'm, I'm visiting a, a girl I'm dating, right? Yeah. Uh, which was, I was dating Chia at the time. I just wasn't visiting her in Vancouver, right? So, of course, they sent me to fucking secondary for this, like further interview or whatever. And <laughs> I saw that the two secondary interviewers were two ladies. I was like, oh, I got this, right? <laughs> so not, not because I was going to flirt, but because it's going to be cute. So they're like, so you're here. Why are you here? I'm like, oh, I'm visiting this girl. I'm dating. I'm just, they're like, oh, immediately. I'm like, yes. So then they're like, so what are you guys going to be doing out here? And then my first fucking instinctive answer, because Chia had literally just made a joke about this. I was like, um, eat spaghetti. <laughs> and they're, the, and the two, but they're like, wait, well, what, what do you mean? Eat spaghetti. I was like, ah. Oh. The girl, uh, my girlfriend said she wants to do like a lady in the tramp spaghetti <laughs> kiss because that's what we were just joking about. And they immediately went, oh my God, that is so cute. Hold on one second. We're just going to check your record. Make sure you don't have any blah, blah, blah. You're fine. <laughs> I was oh, like, yes. Yeah. They went, <laughs> check my shit. Came like, and they gave me my papers back like, have fun eating spaghetti. Aww. <laughs> so, and then he was about to walk out the door. He was like, and I'm getting paid for it. And he ran. <laughs> I'm not even seeing her, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I left. <laughs> oh, Canada. Uh, oh, Canada. <laughs> something, something, something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I'll tell you what. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a butt. <laughs> <laughs> you just open up Instagram. You know when you open up Instagram. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like, <laughs> like yeah, your camera rolled up. <laughs> you better cut that. Just taking <laughs> ass pics in yeah. the bathroom. No, the only time there's butt on my Instagram is if my girl is right next to me when I open it. <laughs> Anytime else, it's fucking LeBron James. But if she's right there, it is ass. And I'm like, who is this? <laughs> Who's I don't even know this ass. I never followed you. And then the first thing, and then you got to scroll real quick and it looks suspicious because you're not yeah. trying to look suspicious. No, I just double tap. Make it act like it's not not a big deal. Well, shit, man. Um, <laughs> whose ass is this? <laughs> I'm 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 really I'm trying to find questions. You got no questions? I got yeah, I got a question. What talk. you do last night, Nikki? <laughs> 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 uh, oh no! Here, let's talk about this. You went on a scary jet skiing oh, trip. Oh my god! Yeah. And please tell us about this because I had no idea. I almost went. I'm glad I didn't. Buckle up, guys. <laughs> I just ski. <laughs> Imagine you can put on Spock and do it. All right. So uh, it was recently Tway's birthday, right? Yeah. And like a month before her birthday, we were at the beach and people were jet skiing out there, right? Mm. So for some reason, she started looking up jet skis in Long Beach because she felt like this was a rental thing. And she was right. And she stumbled across this place called... Do I even want to give them promotion for how scary this was? <laughs> well, fuck it. If y'all want to kill yourself, go ahead. It's called Jet Ski 2 Catalina, right? The number two. So if you know, like, Catalina's off the coast of Long Beach. Mm-hmm. So she's like, oh, my God, I want to do this for my birthday. So we're watching the video and shit. And it's like, it looks really calm. Dude goes out. He's, like, in the calm waters. He he has a stop. He's playing with some uh, seals there on a buoy. It was fucking nice there's dolphins later on in the shit they go swimming in the cave it's real peaceful and serene right what we didn't realize is the rest of it is not 
And the only video you can get is the peaceful shit because the rest is so not peaceful. There's no way you're recording. You need your full attention on what's going on, right? So she hits everybody up and all her friends are down or whatever. I'm like, all right, let's do it. I don't do no research. Normally, I'm the research fucking guy. But I watched this video. What do I need to research? I've seen it. The night before, though, I'm like, I should do some research, just what I need to bring, what I shouldn't bring. I like to be prepared. So I'm looking at the frequently asked questions and shit like that. And there's one part, this had nothing to do with the question, but in the answer, they were like, if you don't have a sense of adventure, big letters, do not take this trip. This is an extreme adventure trip. And I was like, huh? (laughs) Well, huh? You don't have a sense of adventure. I do not. <laughs> I don't like adventure. <laughs> adventure is not my kind of guy. So I'm like, huh? All right, maybe they're just saying that, right? Because it also says it's two and a half hours there, two hours back, and I'm like, I'm like that's not true. I'm like, oh, maybe we're stopping at the dolphins and the seals for <laughs> a really long time. Yeah. No, it is two and a half hours there. Straight jet ski. On a fucking jet ski. Now, the half hour is because of the stops. You know what I'm saying? There's frequent stops. Coming back is two hours and it's damn near straight. Sheesh. And it is dangerous. (laughs) It's the open ocean. There's no barriers. There's no, like, buoys that keep you in a safe line. (laughs) People saw sharks. Sharks. Somebody saw a dead shark. Oh, God. What can kill a shark? <laughs> what would it do to us? <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? The waves were crazy. Yeah. We're jumping that shit. Like, I'm in the air. Oh my the jet skis, like, falling <laughs> up under me. That's how high I am. My feet are fully stretched. And then I land on that shit. X Games. bro. it was terrifying. Then the salt water, it sprays on you. It gets in your eye. It fucking burns. You can't <laughs> see. But you're on a jet ski. Yeah. You have to see. <laughs> it. Oh, bro. Going there was terrifying. <laughs> and you had your few little moments where you stop and you play with dolphins and shit. It's like, oh, fuck. It's fucking dolphins. Yeah. And then somebody decided to get off and swim with the dolphins. But you're in the open ocean. He couldn't get back on the shit. Oh somebody God. had to come and get him out. I was like, oh, get the fuck out of there. And he was riding with someone. And when you're riding, you have like a key. And they hook the key to your life vest or whatever. So if you fall off, your jet ski stops. So he just like jumped in the water with the key attached. The girl he was with is on the jet ski. That stopped. Yeah, that stopped. But the waves are taking him like this. Oh, God. She can't turn it back on to come get him. He can't swim to her because the way, like, he's swimming against the waves and it's just taking him that way. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So I go over there to her because I'm like, why aren't you turning this shit on? Hit the red button. She's like, it keeps saying something about the key. I was like, where's the key? She's like, he has the key. I was like, oh, shit. So that was fucking crazy. And that's just on the way there, bro. (laughs) So then we get almost to Catalina Island and get to this little cave, right? So people can get off and swim through the cave. I'm not doing that shit. There's no way in hell I'm getting off and swimming in the cave. So it was me and a couple of other people that were like, nah, we're not doing that. So we just have to sit on our jet skis while they go in the cave. And they're like, keep your jet ski up. Don't turn your jet ski back on. So now the waves is just doing this <laughs> shit, right? <laughs> People over here getting seasick. I'm like, ah, oh, bro. And it, keep, it keeps turning me so that my back is to everything. And they're telling me I can't turn my jet ski back on. So I'm tripping out because I, all I see is water. Just people behind me, but I can't see shit. I'm just like, uh. <laughs> I'm like, fuck this dude. I turn that shit on. I turn around. But yeah, so that's terrifying. Yeah. We finally get to the island, right? Now, my biggest thing is I didn't want to get wet. I know I'm in the <laughs> ocean. That's a stupid thing to not want, right? Yeah. I'm cool with some splashes. I'm not swimming in the fucking ocean. Yeah. So we get there and they're like, okay, dock right here. We're going to get off. We pull into the beach. So we a little far from where I see like the standing shit. So I'm like, God damn it. I'm going to be up to my knees in water, but whatever. <laughs> I get off my jet ski. I go, all the way under the water. It was oh, not oh. shallow at all. And nobody warned me. I have a backpack of shit. Everything just goes underwater with no. me. Oh, I was fucking pissed. Luckily, it was a waterproof backpack, so it oh. didn't get too wet on the inside. Phone in there? Uh, phone was not in there. Phone was still in the jet ski. Oh. And then I had to make the dude go back and get my phone because I realized I forgot it, right? Damn. 
So that was stupid. We get on the beach and it's rocky. It's not saying it's fucking rocks. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's wearing like flip flops or crocs or some shit like yeah. that. It was not a good time. So we get there, we got the rocks all in our shit. It hurts. They're like, okay, so we'll be doing cliff jumping right here if you want to do that. You can snorkel a bit right here. If you plan on getting something to eat, the um it's a small hike to the oh, <laughs> restaurant. Oh, oh. I was like, you mother bitch. Like everybody's <laughs> hungry. Yeah. I don't fucking do hikes. <laughs> We're in flip-flops and Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to hike up this little... Now, granted, it was a small hike. Okay. But it was still a fucking hike. Yeah, like, yeah. we're tired as shit by the time we get to the top, breathing, sweating. We get there, and me and Tway specifically realized we left our masks uh, in the jet ski. I was like, you bitch. <laughs> but luckily, they were selling some there, so we got masks. Phew. We get to the restaurant. Food takes forever. Mm -hmm. It's not good. <laughs> And now we have to rush back because we have to leave at a certain time. Mm. We're a little bit late. Like, everybody's a little bit late. And they're freaking out. The fucking guides, they are freaking out. Oh, no, Yeah, people trying to take pictures. No time for that. We got to get going. These swells are coming in big. Like, oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> so we're seeing the boat, the fucking jet skis are doing this and shit. Oh, we're God. like, oh, shit. All right, so we get in there. And we on the jet skis. And we're going back. And we're fucking moving. And... This shit is huge. The waves are huge. If you're kind of slow, you get to a point where you only see water above you. You don't see your people anymore. What? So it's like, yo, where did they go? So then you try to speed up because it's like, what if they turn? What if I get over this and I don't see them anymore? Yeah. But when you speed up, it's fucking waves. So it's like, oh, oh. bro, so you go over this giant wave and then you see your people and shit. But then the waves are going like this, but also like this. Oh. So now it was all kinds of fucked up and terrifying. <laughs> and every time we stop, everybody is like, I can't see. <laughs> because oh. it's Salt is all in our eyes and shit. Uh, and then the um, the the guys are like, yeah, I won't lie. Today's not an easy day. <laughs> yeah, this, this swells are pretty big. I'm like, God. when were you going to tell us? And there was a family that came with our group. Oh, well, not with our group, but they were in the same group as us. Like a, a father and son, mother and daughter. And the mother and daughter, they were freaking the fuck out. And they were panicking. And they were going super slow and shit. Yeah. So we kept having to stop to wait for them. And I'm feeling bad for them, but I'm also like, hey, fuck you, lady, speed it up. I want to go home. Yeah. Uh, bro, it, it was scary as shit. Everybody was sore as fuck the next day. Like, it's a full body workout. You're trying to control this shit. Uh, never again. But it was fun. <laughs> it was so fun. Do you ever have trouble picking the perfect gift for someone that would genuinely make them go, wow? The best gifts create unbelievable experiences for those you love and memories that last a lifetime. That's why I'm excited to announce Cameo as a new sponsor for our show. Wow! I don't know if y'all have been seeing these cameos everywhere online like me, but they are lit and I'm actually on Cameo. That's right. You can get shout outs from me. I'm talking about birthdays. You want me to talk shit to somebody? You want me to tell your girl that you think she's cute? Just pay that little fee and you got me, baby. All right. Um, it's pretty dope. It's easy to use. You just put in a little request. Tell me what you want me to say and then I will say it pretty much as long as it's not, you know, crazy. <laughs> There's someone for everyone with tens of thousands of stars to request from. Cameo lets you connect with some of the biggest entertainers in TV, film, music, and sports like Snoop Dogg, Floyd Mayweather, Chris Tucker, Caitlyn Jenner, David Hasselhoff, Lindsay Lohan, Tony Hawk, Ice Cube, and me. Cameo provides the kind of real fan connection you used to only be able to get from a once-in-a-lifetime chance encounter or backstage passes at a show. Cameo is the perfect gift for birthdays, graduations, weddings, Father's Day, or even just a case of the Mondays, all right? People use Cameo for all kinds of things. Shoutouts, roasts, thank you messages, congratulations. I've seen some people shooting their shot with Cameo by having a celebrity ask their crush out on a date. Now, that's just cute. Go to Cameo.com, request a personalized video, and whichever star you choose will send you back a personalized video so you can wow the ones you love. So don't just buy a gift, make a Cameo. Go to Cameo.com. Hey, you little filthy McNasties. We all know the story of boy meets girl, but what about girl meets girl? Or maybe boy meets girl, and then they meet another girl, threesome. With Dipsy, the stories continue beyond the initial meetup. Come hear what happens behind closed doors. Everyone needs an escape, 
But those can be hard to come by right now. Hard to come by. Enter Dipsy. Let yourself get lost in a world where good things happen and where your pleasure is the only priority. Dipsy is an audio app full of short, sexy stories designed to turn you on. Each Dipsy audio story features characters that feel like real people and immersive scenarios. So you feel like you're right there. Listen to the stories about hooking up with your hometown crush that you never made a move on or that coworker you always had a little thing for or maybe a story that puts you in bed with someone who's telling you exactly what they'd like you to do they release new content every week so there's always more to explore no matter who you're into or what turns you on if you need to wind down, Dipsy also has wellness sessions, sensual bedtime stories, and soundscapes to help you relax before you drift off. For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash no chaser. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D I P S E A Stories dot com slash no chaser. Dipsy Stories dot com slash no chaser. Eric invited me like kind of like a few weeks before the actual event, and I kind of I just saw the picture, mm -hmm. and I kind of half read the shit, and I was like, "Damn, boat Catalina, let's <laughs> let's get it. I'd love a boat ride to Catalina. Sounds great." And I'm thinking in my head, granted, I know this doesn't make sense now. <laughs> in my head, it was a boat with jet skis just on it, <laughs> and then. We got on. We took a nice, pleasant boat ride to Catalina <laughs> and just skied around. And just skied around. Shit, yeah. That's what I thought it was gonna be. I was like, I might be down, man. I might be down. Let me see if Chia's down. You know what I'm saying? And then when I was kind of like, ah, we probably can't because of the baby, anyways. And then, but then Chia was like, oh, maybe you could just go. You know what I'm saying? And then when you really gave me the details, I was like, yo, fuck that, bro. You had to get up early as shit. <laughs> like it, it, everything was bad. <laughs> But it was really fun. I would never do it again. Right. Mm. I do not recommend anybody do it unless you are some fucking X Games <laughs> thrill seeking ass person. But that shit was fun. I'd be seeking some thrills, just not on water. Thrills that could kill it was like it was like riding a moped <laughs> <laughs> from Long Beach to San Diego and back oh. in the rain. <laughs> On one road that goes like this. <laughs> nah. Well, that sounds terrible. It was. You ever been jet skiing, Nikki Blake? I have. How'd you like it? I liked it, but I wasn't going two hours on it. Right. It was just yeah. like going in circles or you just go in a certain place. You got your buoys. You do that. Yeah, no, I'm not doing none of that. Because when you first start, you're like in, in the, the bay. You know what I'm saying? It's calm. There's no waves. It's fucking fun. Yeah. As soon as you get past that area, like, all right, you know where the Queen Mary is, right? Mm -hmm. So we, once you get around the Queen Mary, yeah, it's like, all right, let's go. And you 30 miles per hour, 25, 30 miles per hour the whole fucking time, just zooming on that shit. And it is bumpy. It yeah. is wet. It is gross. Ah, I've never just Ooh, eaten. the salt and the sun? Bruh. Oh, oh, the sun. The sun. I the top of everybody's head was sunburnt and shit <laughs> peeling the next day and all of her friends are like fucking fitness queens bro like they are fit as fuck they were sore the next day so you know i was fucked up Facts. oh man it was not good and at, fats yeah <laughs> at one point i was like bro when i get home i'm gonna grab all the fucking plastic i can find i'm coming back and i'm dumping it in the ocean <laughs> fuck the ocean i hated the ocean that day Ugh. Using all the plastic straw, all of it. <laughs> Fuck you, turtles. Everybody. You know. You know what's funny is when you talked about like um, how you, they stopped to go to go uh, swim through that cave. Yeah. And you chilled on the jet ski. I, it took me back to when we was in Jamaica on a boat, mm -hmm. a nice boat ride. Yeah. Uh, with a group of people. These motherfuckers also want to swim at the caves. Yeah. And me and Rick said we're gonna chill on this boat. Yeah. Like what? Why? <laughs> what do you need to do that for? 
I know tons of girls. That's the first thing they do. They look for a clay, uh, cave or something to jump off of. It's so weird. Okay, I, you know, look. If if I if I was a better swimmer, I would jump off things. I, I definitely would jump off things. Uh, because I like jumping off things, yeah. but <laughs> just I just don't like water. You hey, know what I'm saying? I can swim just fine. Yeah. <laughs> but in the open ocean, I'm nah, not taking different. no chances. Yeah. yeah. If you ain't never been on a boat, and then looking down when you're in the middle of the ocean, it's black. Like you don't see uh, anything for the most part. That is unless terrifying. It's like right there. Yeah. <laughs> scary. And turtles are scary when they just kind of like creep up on you because they're really they're big. Yeah. And you don't expect them. And then everything looks like a shark in the ocean. Yeah. That's another reason why okay, so I I, I would like to go on a cruise. Uh I feel like I would never actually touch water, but also but but Open water, open ocean is just so scary. Bro, and it was terrible. Chia has this fear of she she's kind of scared of being on a cruise just because, you know, in the back of her mind, we're in the middle of a fucking ocean, yeah. something happens, you know what I'm saying? Titanic and shit. Um, and and when you look out at the ocean at night and you just see pitch black darkness, it's yeah. like, what the fuck? Anything could happen and no yeah. one would ever know. Mm -hmm. Bruh, so it's so they made you be really spaced out from everybody because they didn't want a wave to like pick one jet ski up and drop it on another and shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. Which, okay, for your safety. But then you start thinking, if I fall and I'm in the back, nobody's gonna fucking know. Right. Like there's supposed to be guides behind you, but it's like, if you see, if you see one of these lime green shirts pass you, that means you're going too, too slow. You gotta speed up. Like, no, nigga, you <laughs> go slower than me. <laughs> Don't, but there was a few times where they passed me up. Mm. And I'm like, I'm going 35, bro. Right. <laughs> these shits only go 60. Yeah. Why are you passing me up? Man, that shit, it was scary. There would be times where I'm like, they're over there and the waves are taking me this way. So I'm like, let me turn, but I'm not paying attention that I'm coming up on a jump and I jump and I'm turning and I land and I'm Ooh. still turning. So I land where I'm like almost, almost dipping in the water. Fucking terrifying. Like my shit's going like this and the, the ocean will pull you. Yeah. So that I have to think really quick and turn like that. Ah. Like, yo, what if I would have failed right now, that would have been it. Oh, and you got to worry about your face. So what, if you're not strong enough with your upper body and it's taking you, mm -hmm. you can go and bow and bust yeah. your face open. What's, what's the jumps? I mean, it's just waves. Yeah. But sometimes you can tell, like you can see what the water's doing ahead mm -hmm. of you. But sometimes you can't. It look like it's flat, but you go up you know what i'm saying it's like oh, oh fuck. lord yeah, it's not cool <laughs> no thank you man <laughs> yeah you you would not have enjoyed yourself i would i'm talking about bro as soon as i feel no nothing under my feet i start panicking <laughs> yeah. so no thanks yeah, yeah. i uh <laughs> i've almost drowned in the ocean couple times uh once that story i told y'all which was a trip to catalina with the <laughs> class um and another time when um i was in hawaii with uh some youtubers uh singers for a, a show it was me clara c uh david Choi, if y'all are familiar and um we spent like a week out there just in hawaii just chilling doing shit right and um and at one point they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna go uh, snorkeling." I'm like, uh, "Yeah, okay, um, I'm 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 cool, but y'all go ahead." But they're like, "Tan, just come, it'll be fine." And I'm like, "All right, just give me a floaty thing. I'll go snorkeling with y'all a little bit, right?" So at one point, Clara's like right next to me. She's being, she's like, she's like, "Nah, you're good. See, you're good. I got I got my little uh, noodle. I'm floating." Yeah um mind you <laughs> i'll be panicking when i'm snorkeling because it's hard to breathe it's hard to breathe and like the shit is like i don't know it's uncomfortable right and and this wasn't even like a full-on snorkel set situation this was just a, the thing yeah. on my face right but you can definitely hear me as soon as i put my face in the water i'm like huh, huh, <laughs> huh, yeah. just to make sure i'm breathing yeah. right and then at one point dog um <laughs> i lost my floaty and this is and they were off having a good time already. They thought Tim's cool with his floaty. We're just going to go do look at some fish and shit, yeah. right? I lost my floaty, and now I'm panicking, yeah. right? I'm, like, flailing around in the water and shit, <laughs> like, oh, God. Oh, God. But I luckily, I was like, I, I had to remember, oh, wait, you can you can swim a little bit. Yeah. So, like, made my way over to the, to the fucking thing, to the noodle, and then immediately went back to yeah. the shore. <laughs> Done. I'm Tapped over out. this shit. I'm good. Bruh. 
and, th- <sighs> and then when you're snorkeling too, depending on where you go, you have to worry about coral. And if mm-hmm. you didn't have, and if you didn't have your floaty, when you're going across the top, especially like Hanama Bay, you you just go like this, you'll scrape your whole leg on the coral. Yeah. <sighs> It was already little pebbles in my flippers. <laughs> it was all bad, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, uh, practice in your tub. I just see Tim and his stuff with this snorkel practicing. I'm gonna have to learn if I mean I got a I got a kid and shit now. Yeah. What if she is in the water? I gotta <laughs> jump in and save her. You should learn. <laughs> I uh after this, I went to the beach. It was me, Tway, and her friend, right? Mm-hmm. And they're they're short. They're like five two and five three or some shit like that. But they want to go so far out in the fucking water. I'm like, hey, hey, relax, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't do much for y'all <laughs> out there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, I could grab you, but then we both probably gonna right. drown because I don't know how to swim against waves and shit like that. But there was this older couple with their son and they had like this little floaty thing like it was like a little personal floaty boat and it kind of like blew away at one point i got it for him he was like oh thank you i was like you gotta let me borrow it now just joking uh-huh. and then he says if you guys want to use it i'm like hey shut the fuck up <laughs> of course they want to use it so uh-huh. I'm like, i don't have swim trunks i got on really short shorts though so i'm like we can get in up to here <laughs> i'll hold the thing and y'all can chill in the boat that wasn't enough for them. So they start taking turns and they're just going further and further. And I'm like, y'all, y'all up to your neck uh, <laughs> in this shit. Mm-mm. I'm not running in there with these uh, cotton shorts. Y'all gonna be <laughs> assed out. But girls are just crazy. Uh, girls, why are y'all so crazy? Mm-hmm. That's them, not me. I know my you limits. Can stand up. I can stand up. <laughs> I go as far as I can touch, which is further than them. I if I'm if I'm there in the water with blades, as far as you can, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. If, if it's, if well, it's, not if you like. Tim is gonna be <laughs> on my back, and I'm yes. like, "Come on, let's go. You want to go swim? Oh man! Did I ever tell? I, I feel like I've only told I, I've only told this story on a most recent mukbang I did with Kev on stage, which I haven't uploaded yet, mm-hmm. but. I actually took adult swim lessons at one point in my life. That's funny. And it was <laughs> during summer summertime. I was still a student at Paramount High, right? I think I do believe I was like a senior or junior. Um, my swim instructor was someone who was in one of my classes, <laughs> one of the lifeguards, and it was me and a bunch of middle aged Mexican ladies <laughs> <laughs> learning how to swim as grown ass people. And the way she would teach us is she taught us, you know, like we were kids, like the most Mm -hmm. basic shit. Right. So the main thing was breathing when and how to breathe. So she would tell us to um, exhale when your head is down and then inhale when you turn to like stroke. You know what I'm saying? But the way she told us is, okay, so you're going to turn your head to listen to the fishies. And then when your head is down, you're going to talk to the fishies. Okay, so. Talk to the fishies, listen to the fishies. Talk to the fishies, listen to the fishies. And and that's how I basically learned to swim. And that you be saying that when you swim. I do. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Actually. Yeah. There was one point where I was like legit scared on the jet ski. Like I'm like, okay, this this is fucking scary. Mm-hmm. So I had to talk to myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, come on, Rick. Come on, Rick. Let's go. Let's go. You got this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it was it was that level of shit. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> like when you first start, you're looking around like, damn, it's crazy. Open ocean and <laughs> shit. On the way back, tunnel vision. I don't want to see none of this shit. I want to Let's go just home. fucking go. Yeah, that's what it was. Once I could see like Long Beach, yeah. I was like, all right, crank this shit up. Yeah. I was going 45. I'm flying over this shit. Like, fuck, just get me home. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, nah, keep me on a on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So initially I read that like if other people want to come and they don't want to jet ski, they can ride along and on the boat. Mm. And it said the boat. So I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe I'll just ride a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get somebody to take mine back. I get on the fucking boat. Yeah. Nah, you have to charter a boat oh. <laughs> to go with you. This is an extra fee. You know what I'm saying? That's just in case some people don't want to go. I was like, oh, man. Damn. Yeah. By the time it was time to come back, everybody was like, do you think they'll let us like just take a boat back right. and they can take the jet skis? But they wouldn't. Uh, so annoying. Damn. We should like charter more just boats and shit though. Like little mini yachts, rent them out. <laughs> like that's just kind of fun, bro. Um. So in 
in Long Beach, they they do shit like that, right? Yeah. But there's one particular <laughs> boat. It's like the jankiest looking <laughs> boat of all time. <laughs> it's, it's funny, but it's sad. Every time I see it, it's full of black people only. <laughs> Somebody's twerking on it. <laughs> but it's such a shitty boat. I'm like, come, guys, come on. <laughs> this, there got to be a level above this <laughs> that we can uh, rent out. I mean, hey. <laughs> I mean, hey, get in where you fit in, man. Hey, they barely fit in. That's the thing. <laughs> it's, it be tight in that motherfucker. Oh, like my a Bow Wow boat. <laughs> <laughs> but then you post about the yacht, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you know what? It's crazy because even though I don't fuck with the ocean like that, whenever I'm on a fucking mini yacht or like a, a little boat mm. with like with some little 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 luxury, some comfort, I be like. I mean, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna buy a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how, how, how much? How much? these go for? You know what I'm saying? Funny, yeah. And I'm like, okay, man. You know, maybe, maybe I wouldn't mind just docking a little boat in Long Beach, taking it for a cruise every once in a while, bringing yeah. it back. Yeah, I mean, doing that is cool. Jamaica was the first time I was on a boat that went away from shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like anything else has been like a a little party. Yeah. And if you pay attention, they're just going around in the bay. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you feel like you're on a boat, but you're not going anywhere. Jamaica, it went. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's getting dark, guys. Uh, sure, we want to yeah, still be out here. That's how Puerto Rico was when I took a boat. We went from one island to another one. And then everybody was uh, drinking on the boat. But I remember when we got there and we were on the island, I was like, we are kind of lit right now. This doesn't feel safe because you yeah. had to swim to the boat because oh, they couldn't God. come all the way up. So they stop and then you get out and you swim to land and then they're like, okay, you get to hang out for a bit, do that. Yeah. And then one of the girls on the trip had a bag of berries, mm. like some sort of berries that get you buzzed. Oh, and God. she was <laughs> she was popping those things. And the person I was with, we were running around in the forest, like in the beach. They had like all these different trees and stuff. So we're just Dora the Explorer running around. <laughs> Yeah, and then when it was time to go back, we were hot, sticky, buzzed the ride back to where we were coming from. It's not fun when you're drunk. I bet. It is not fun when you're drunk. I would do it again, but <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend drinking that much. Y'all was buried out on them berries. Uh, I don't know what was in them, but yep, was eating those. I was like, yeah, berries, woo! <laughs> Some crack-infused berries. Oh, God. <laughs> Have we ever talked about you and me? Uh, Smoking crack? That, <laughs> that, that one time? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Uh, crack? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm saying <laughs> so, somebody made me curious about smoking crack one time. <laughs> what? I, and I, look, okay, I was shooting JK News. Uh, of course. Of Joe, course. Joe expressed the uh, telling us about the one time he smoked crack. Oh, and good. He made it sound great. I mean, okay, so yeah, everybody <laughs> that smoked crack says that first hit yeah. is the most euphoric feeling yeah. you've ever had. And that's why they be so addicted. They're chasing uh -huh. that high again, and you can never get that one ah. again. So it's always that. So I believe it, but no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Joe described it like this. He said that first smoke of crack, that first hit, feels like every muscle in your body is getting massaged at the same time. Oh, God. <laughs> That's how you describe you know, it. Not, no, don't want but that. But no, you're gonna lose you. all your teeth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be on the streets. <laughs> yeah, you could you do some weird shit for crack. Crackheads live a long time though. They do, and they have superpowers for like yeah. an hour of the day. Yeah. They, they they really do. It's weird. It's like with as much as you've been through, you should not be alive. Mm -hmm. but I think the crack is keeping you alive. It's like Something. it's fucking you up and it's keeping you good yeah. at the same time. Yeah, you, you okay, just... okay. <laughs> I'm feeling this now. <laughs> you ever see that video of that crackhead that jumped off the like it was like a tall ass house? Oh, and didn't even break his leg. Didn't even break his legs. Landed in a fucked up way. It wasn't a smooth landing. Landed like a like a. Like his body kind of, yeah, yeah, and then just got up and walked off. Crazy. Crack powers, man. Crack fucking powers. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Don't do drugs. That's not crack. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Yeah, please. Uh, or heroin. Oh, you pop pop some weird berries, but don't <laughs> don't smoke yeah, crack. Yeah, crack. I was gonna say, have we ever talked about the the new Jamaican resort? Um, we have not. Okay, so one time me and Rick were at a naked resort in Jamaica, not together, but together. Like, uh, we were there with a group, like. It wasn't just us, but we were there as a couple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we was kissing, but we wasn't naked together. Yeah, <laughs> while, while we were kissing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no. 
we uh we're fucking on this now. <laughs> we had shirts on when we was fucking. <laughs> The naked stuff was completely separate. If you don't look each other in the eye, it's not gay. Nah, but <laughs> so this company hit me up, asked me if I wanted to judge um, a Jamaican jerk cooking contest at a, at this at Hedonism Two, which is a nude resort in Jamaica in the grill. Clothing option. Clothing optional. Um, and Chia couldn't make it because she was um she was working or something that week. So I was like, huh, can I bring my boy? He was like, all right, second best tits I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I brought Rick with me as my guest. And coincidentally, we had like another homegirl of ours that we knew from from like way back who was also like on the trip. Part like she's she was um they brought her as like a like a, a, a blogger. Um yeah. yeah, yeah. And so she was out there and it was like a little group of us, you know what I'm saying, at this clothing optional resort. And um, it was it was it was a cool vibe. So they have a nude side, they have a prude side, right? Nude side, you have to be naked, yeah, no clothes option. allowed. Yeah. yeah. Prude side, it's optional. You can have clothes on, you can not have clothes on. It's cool. It's whatever you want to do, right? Mm -hmm. So the host uh, explains to us that like the one of the girls that was kind of showing us around, she's like, um, she's like, yeah, this is this is what this is. What this is um, they have different, you know, like little little themed event nights or whatever, like little toga parties, shit like that. And um, it was cool. It was fun. Um, but one night she was like, you guys. But we didn't we didn't want to go to the nude side. Right. I wasn't trying to be naked like that. And to be honest, I thought. I would have been more down until you get there and you're like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll get, we'll talk about that later. Okay. okay. So I don't want to specifically talk about one night when she was like, come on, man, it's your last night. You guys got to come to the nude side. You got to come to the nude side. So it was me, um, like a couple other dudes, our, our homegirl, Bruna and like, and this host girl. And she was like, just do it. It's last night. I was like, fine, man, fine. And so, I went to my room and Rick went to his room. <laughs> so, we like and I, and I was like damn it Rick I was trying to after all these years to finally get to see Rick's dick nah. <laughs> but so I'm like all right listen fine we'll go to the new side it was at night too I was like all right cool cool so we're just kind of walking in the dark we get to the sign that says no clothing from here on out I'm like all right cool get butt naked butt naked and I'm like but in my head I'm like shit man it's cold like I hate walking around with soft flaccid dick I know like it's it's taboo to look at to look at each other but still I'm like I don't like having not not at least somewhat engorged yeah. dick out. You feel me? So we get to the nude side. And of course, it's like all mostly like older white people, right? Like mm -hmm. a lot of older white couples. And there's a, a giant. So what they've done is it's a it's a pool that's a hot tub. It's a hot tub that's the size of a pool. Oh, nice. Which is great, right? Especially you would like some, you think some boiling disinfectant yeah. with it's a bunch of naked people there, right? <laughs> so we're chilling. It's cool. It's not weird. It's not, it was nice. You know what I'm saying? We're all just kind of talking. Like, we're all just kind of neck, uh, like chilling because, you know, we didn't, uh, we're just, we're, we're naked, right? So, you know, we're like having a beer. But the whole time I'm like, I got to get out of this water at some point. You know what I'm saying? And we're in the pool area. It's a little more lit up. So as we're just kind of casually talking, I'm slowly stroking my penis. Just like light, a light stroke. Just to give myself a little, a little engorgement. You feel me? I'm like not trying to get all the way hard because that's weird. But I also was not trying to be limp dick around all these people. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm just slow. I'm like, yeah, nah, that, that's cool. That's cool. Like just slightly, <laughs> like petting it like a cat in my lap. <laughs> and, for, and sure enough, as soon as I got, when I got the water, I was right where I wanted to be. And I think someone might have glanced. So I'm like, it's lit. <laughs> but um, highly recommend Nude Resort, Nikki Blades. If you ever, have you ever been to a nude resort or a nude beach situation? No, I haven't. If you like to be naked and you don't like perverts, go to a clothing optional resort. I know that sounds counterproductive, <laughs> no, but I the vibe there isn't sexual right. inherently. Mm -hmm. There's some sexual shit going on, but most of it is just like we want people to be comfortable. Yeah. yeah. So nobody's like fucking staring at mm -hmm. your boobs and shit like mm -hmm. that. Nobody's trying to grope you or making weird noises at yeah. you and shit like that. It's very chill, which is what threw me off. Cause I was ready to perv out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Oh, everybody's calm. <laughs> Oh, your dick can't be hard. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna keep my clothes on then, because the rest of this is not fun to look at. I need, <laughs> I need something. So yeah. But what's also interesting about that specific resort is, um, their rule is basically as long as you're not hurting anybody, you do whatever you want. Yeah. Right. So 
there was they explained to us there was also a room oh yeah that if you wanted to it's just where people be everyone just is out is in there fucking yeah oh. it, it was i do believe she said like you can't go in there unless you're right. down so to you, yeah 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 so yeah. it's like either you know participate or, or like have a mate with you right. like yeah. you can't just you're be a dude watch. in there chilling yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah yeah girls could go alone guys couldn't right yeah yeah, yeah. that makes sense yeah. i would i would definitely go to a nude resort yeah, it was dope. Um, it was a good time, you know. Um, you know, and honestly, in my head, I thought I would have been down and just run around naked more. But I mean, you know, you definitely get a little, you get a little shy once you're once you're there. Once you're, and I even I went to a nude beach in Hawaii one mm-hmm. time, and um, and I was with Chia, so I thought maybe I'll be a little more comfortable to lay out butt naked. And yeah. I definitely like did a little tanning naked, but also like I was now in my head, I'm also like. Oh fuck! If there's a fan here, yeah. like yeah. Out behind a bush or something yeah. like that. Right. Well, here's the thing: like, it, you have to be a person who feels more comfortable naked yeah. right. to do that right. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't really trying to go there and perv right. out, but <laughs> I definitely was expecting more sexual shit. Yeah. When my stuff is exposed, it's for sex. <laughs> so it 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 would just. It was weird to yeah. think of just being out for nothing. Yeah, because yeah. I don't, because I don't really wear clothes. Like I go to sleep naked. I don't like wearing clothes. I personally just feel, I feel more comfortable naked than I do wearing clothes mm. a lot of the time. So something like that would make sense for me. But I know even talking to people that don't sleep naked, like if you don't even feel comfortable sleeping naked in your own bed, you yeah. probably aren't going to feel comfortable being naked around a bunch of other people. Yeah, I don't think that's that's the nudist lifestyle, right? It's yeah. like they're trying to. Uh, separate the 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 nudity necessarily from being sexual, sexual. Yeah, yeah 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 so it's like they just be going to chill man and when i when i was on that nudist beach that nude beach i was like i, I can't i can't be here and not do nothing yeah. yeah so i fucking i i i ran butt naked into a wave like once <laughs> did did like splashed around a bit and then ran right back to my towel yeah. when i think about like a nudist beach or a nudist resort i think of nudist colonies mm. and i've seen like you know i've seen them on tv and whatnot and there's nothing sexual going on i just think it's funny watching people be naked and wear shoes <laughs> like i just it's like <laughs> one of those things that just looks so weird to me is when people are doing regular activities naked yeah. but they have shoes on yeah it's pretty funny it's funny because now i'll probably be out there with a fanny pack little sling bag <laughs> yeah <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could ever, like, I could get fit as fuck. I still wouldn't be down to just be naked yeah. on the beach for nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, 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 I would go again. I would go. Maybe I'll bring, I'll bring Chia back. Now, you know what? You know what the thing about it is, though? Um, also, everyone that was there, the whole staff was wilding out fans, too. Oh, yeah. So also in my head, I was like, these are fans. Are you mad? Yeah. yeah. Hey, can I get a picture of you? Right. <laughs> no. Or people just talk about your dick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Other people. Exactly. You watch Wild Up? The Asian guy, yeah, yeah. Seen his dick. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, it's like, he's been uh, lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, and I was just going to say, like, mind you, like, I'm I'm proud of my dick, but it's like, but still, I just, I just, I don't want y'all just casually peeping my dick. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Especially on soft. Yeah. And then you're going to see my face on TV and be like, remembering my soft dick. Every time. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. Man, uh, couldn't do it. All right, y'all, thank you for watching another episode <laughs> of the No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim Shot the Rock I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blade. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>